So today I'm going to be teaching you how to be the Toad Prince. So first of all, I'm currently on Deathmatch as you can see, with the enemy I'm scaling on. So I'm going to be fighting the Toad Prince on the hardest difficulty in the game. And now I'm going to be using some potions. So the first one you want to use is the Thunderbolt. As it just increases your damage by 50% and then you want to use the Curse Star. Because you know the Toad Prince is kind of cursed. So you have to use that. I don't have the superior one, so it's only a 25% increase. So the best weakness against this guy is to go close to him and when he's jumping, make sure to be careful. Just go close to him, put a ward in down, yard him, and once he walks in, he will be stunned for a few seconds. Now I'm out, was dead, but now he walks in. Now I'm using the Echidna and Arch Griffin combination. It is really good. And that 5% flat bonus for the boss is just excellent for this. Because this guy is one of the tankiest bosses in the game, believe it or not. So you need to, you need to stay aware of his poison bombs. You can also use Igni to ignite them, but it's probably very risky. And his poison drains are health super fast. So when you're trying to yard it and go to that, you'll probably get hit once. It's fine. You, it's best you heal up the full health because he can probably two shot you, no matter what you're wearing. Unless you're wearing like Grandmaster Usain armor, which you're not getting any soon. And look how good that did. So I'm pretty much using full feline armor, superior or master graphic, and I'm not a hundred percent sure. And I'm using Arch Griffin decoction, Echidna decoction, and the Tall decoction. And I'm using a really good Ephoria build, an uh, alchemy based build. So see how I'm just doing this and make sure to dodge his poison bomb. And he jumps about three times before stopping. When you go up to jump, when he's jumping, if you go, he will probably hit you very hard. So it's best you wait. Sometimes he will just do that one jump. Sometimes your Arden will not hit that well. If you use your Arden, you can get up to three storm attack. No more because he will jump instantly after you get the turtle. If you go instantly you can get up to 3 but if you are a little slow like I am here you can mostly get up to 2. Look I barely missed that turtle. So that's pretty much the trick. So go close to him, yard it up and then use Quinn a lot by the way because he will hit you for a lot of health. So it's best you hit Quinn a lot. So now you've seen it, just see normal gameplay of how I just kill him. So that's that, I hope you understand this, and I'll see you on the next boss tutorial of The Witcher 3.